Hello, I'm Jobin, an operations engineer here at AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how AWS Managed Services customers can reject certain patches from being installed on their instances by submitting automated RFCs or requests for change from AWS Management Console. Let's get started. Before starting, it's a best practice to make a list of patches that you want to exclude and a list of instances that you don't want those patches to be installed on. This is a two-stage process. First, provide a specific tag value to your instance for the tag key patch group. The value can be anything you want, such as do not apply rejected patch. Second, creating a patch baseline which will target that patch group and reject the specific patch during installation. To tag multiple instances with a single RFC, log into AWS Management Console, navigate to the Services drop-down list at the top and then enter and select Managed Services. In the Managed Services Console, navigate to RFCs through the navigation pane on the left. Choose the Create RFC button in the top right portion of the content pane. On the next screen, you can choose to search the RFC change type either by entering the keywords or by entering category, subcategory, item, operation. You can search the correct change type ID by entering update resource tags, selecting the option update resource tags auto and then click create RFC. Or you can choose select by category select management as category advanced tag components as subcategory tag as item and update auto as operation then click create rfc in the next page add a description of the rfc such as what you want it to do for now let's skip the additional configuration and email notifications and assume the schedule to be asap Enter the region where the instance is. For example, in this case, it's an EU West 1 region. Under the parameters, enter the instance ID into resource ARNs field. You can enter multiple instance IDs by pressing the tab key. Expand the additional configuration drop down list and enter the tag key value pair in the following format. In this case, the tag key is patch group and value which is do not apply rejected patch. Please note that the values of tags are case sensitive. Choose the run button to create the RFC. After the RFC succeeds, you can find that the value of the tag patch group and see that it's changed to do not apply rejected patch. The next step is to create a patch baseline to target all the instances that have do not apply rejected patch in the value of the tag key patch group. To do this, follow the previously mentioned steps to navigate to the RFC section in the Managed Services Console and choose Create RFC. On the next screen, search the RFC change type either by entering the keywords or by entering category, subcategory, item, operation. To search the correct change type ID, enter create patch baseline and select from list of available operating systems. Or to search the change type on the basis of CSIO, select deployment as category patching as subcategory, SM patch baseline as item and choose an available operating system depending on operating system of your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Select for example create windows, choose create RFC. Enter a description of the RFC in the description box. For simplicity, we are not entering values for email notifications or additional configuration and we are keeping the RFC schedule as execute this change ASAP. In the next screen under execution configuration, enter a name of this patch baseline so you can differentiate from other patch baselines. 
enter the values of the patch group tag key. The maintenance window will execute for those instances that have the patch group tag with the value that you mentioned here. Note that any instance that shared this tag key value pair will automatically be associated with this patch baseline. Enter a value and press enter. In additional configuration, add a description of the patch baseline that you are creating. In the approval rules section, add approval rules depending on the patch category. For example, you might want to apply security updates that are identified as critical severity to your instances as soon as the updates are released by Microsoft. And then you might want to defer low and moderate severity patches to a schedule such as every two weeks to allow for testing those patches. The allowed values that can be specified for the severity classification and approve after days fields that are mentioned in the description above each corresponding text box. Note that you must specify at least one approval rule while creating the RFC. Otherwise, the RFC will be rejected. You can specify a list of patches to be excluded from installation in the rejected patches field. You can also add up to 50 tags to your patch baseline in the tag section. When you are done, review your inputs and then choose the run button. To modify your inputs, choose the previous button. After the RFC is created, you will see a new page that shows you the status of execution of your RFC. After the RFC status shows succeeded, you can scroll down the page to retrieve the value of created patch baseline from the execution output field. Note that AWS patch baseline will override any patch exclusion configuration at the OS level. So now you know how AMS customers can reject certain patches from being installed on their instances. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>